let me show you how you can explore uh, and play movies with uh, Netflix, uh, their streaming capability. And I'm only going to use the remote shown here to do the navigation. When I'm watching Netflix within Media Center, all I need to do is go to Movies, select Netflix, and hit, hit OK. Now, uh, the first thing you see is that the top is a bunch of categories. I can scroll around and look at my, my DVD queue, my instant queue, movies I've watched, uh, individual uh, and then individual categories that I you know these change all the time it must be things that it thinks that you like and if you find something you like you can select it go down and browse around in the thumbnails it's pretty fast as you can see you select something that you like you can play it or actually I've discovered if you use the button and move around you can get more information about the title actors, and uh, here's what it, it'll, it'll load a, a list of movies that it thinks that, that are related to that. So it allows you to explore the, uh, related content, which is kind of neat. Now, if you don't see the movie that you want here and you know exactly the name of it, you can actually go up to the search box up at the top and click on that. And here I happen to be using the mouse uh, capability, but you can use uh, the uh, arrows as well. Click on that and it brings up a search box. Now, uh, this would require ordinarily require a keyboard and you can use one here, but if I double click on it again with the mouse, there we go, it brings up an on-screen keyboard and using the other buttons here at the bottom, I can type something in and search for something. Let's search for uh, Bottle Shock. Where are you, T? There we go. And then once it's done, go back to the main search menu. I can scroll down to the movie that I want to play. And I was watching it earlier, so I can just resume it. One thing you'll notice in streaming is that uh, the video quality is kind of poor in the beginning. That it um, is basically hunting for your um, download uh, bandwidth, and the more bandwidth that you have available, the higher quality video segment that it'll actually stream to you. So it has a, an adaptive capability. And I have a pretty fast connection here, so the, the picture quality after about 10-15 seconds becomes actually quite good. And this particular title is in high def, which is uh, pretty nice. They've recently added that capability on Netflix. So it's really easy to, to browse around and both look at uh, streaming or uh, DVD titles, add them to your instant queue, add them to your DVD queue, and um, not, not bad. You can also bring up a browser and watch Netflix that way. And of course, if you have your wireless keyboard handy, that is also another way to access Netflix. It's also nice in that you can sort movies by title or I mean, sort them by rating and, and find different content that would, would otherwise be more difficult to find with just a, uh, a remote here. So you have multiple ways that you can watch Netflix, but the easiest way with the remote works actually pretty well.